friends. Okay, it is Monday. Start of a new week. Yeah, and man, is it Monday. <laughs> Sorry, I have not been around Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm trying to get that vlog uploaded now. It's taking forever. Um, my treatment this time just wiped me out. And I'm just this cold weather in me. <laughs> we are not friends. For all you that live up no worth, come down here and get your weather. We do. I'm tired of it. Can get it. You can have it back. Um, yeah, it don't belong here no more. Our southern hospitality and y'all's winter done. Yeah, it, it, we we. It's like this. After three days, it needs to go. <laughs> now, my body and, and cold weather I ain't much friends. Um, I, I Like I said, I am trying to upload this video. I have been up since 6. Fat man got me up whenever he left. It is now 9. Um, I started uploading that. I did my Bible time. Um, I had my coffee. Yeah, I did all my things. Um, I did not get dressed at that time. I got so sleepy, I had to go back to sleep. I mean, I was, I'm like, I can't do this. I, I can't be a productive member <laughs> and do this. I mean, I was, um, so I set my alarm. Praise God for Android phones. I'm just saying. I know everybody is iPhone this. I, mm, yeah, I can't eye anything. <laughs> um, I set my alarm for 8.30. Praise you, Jesus. I went back to sleep, and I woke back up. And now I'm refreshed. I'm rejuvenated. I'm ready to go. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, this morning, he did have to help me up out of the bed, and he had to get my walker and have right at the end of the bed, because my right leg wasn't moving at all, like nothing. It ain't happening. I couldn't feel it, uh, other than, like, numb pain. Um, but it wouldn't help me get up. Um, after I woke up from my nap once i went back to sleep i was able to get up and stand on it so yay um i've taken my meds they're on board um i will not be able to take my lunchtime meds today because i've got to do all the things today we are going becca has a dentist appointment to see about those rough edges See if they can clip those off. I told y'all about that. Or that's in the vlog that is trying to upload now. Hopefully it will upload. Upload. Um. What else? Oh, Becca has that. In between her getting that done and art, A, we have to find us or either pack us a quick lunch, or I'm hoping to pop in Aldi, get a few things that we need. Our high temperature isn't supposed to be that high today, I don't think. I've got my cooler in the car. So if I did buy anything cool-wise, I'm thinking it would be okay in the cooler. Um, and I figured we could just grab us, like, Lunchable or a to-go salad, something. Um, I'm looking for a cord. I see my cord. Um, I'm going to have to plug this puppy up. Um, I mean, I can't walk with them all. Isn't that lovely? I made the comment whenever I bent down and I'm, oh, 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 I sounded like Goofy from a Goofy movie. And what did we have to watch? We found it on Disney Plus. 
and the only way we can get Disney Plus and uh oh, where'd y'all go? Okay, there you are. Are we good now? The only way we can get Disney Plus in here is through my phone. I have the app on my phone. We have Vizio TV and we tried downloading the app to the TV. It won't do. We were able to download it to the Roku in Carol Bus room though. So now she has Disney Plus in her room. Da 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 da. I'm trying to make it with a cat. Hey y'all, you're getting all kind of angles. Won't walk on my laptop. And he is just going to make it virtually impossible. All right, photographic evidence. We ran into the boy at the dentist office. That one had a dental appointment. She came for a ride. He was there. Hi. <laughs> Don't let anybody in that dentist office. <laughs> but we wound up at Taco Bell. Is it good? Yeah. Take care, Beth. <laughs> okay. Hey, Heinz. It is Monday afternoon and we are back. Like I said, um, honey, with everything going on, A, I wouldn't have had, ooh, what, look at that girl. I wouldn't have had time to go to the grocery store, so I just did a Walmart order. And we got to the dentist, and Brian was there. Yeah, like, no kidding. Brian was there. Um, where's my phone? I actually took a picture, and he, I scared the stew out of him. I'd been telling him he needed to call his mama. You know, I'd been texting him, and... I tried calling and leaving a message, and he wouldn't call me back. So I finally, the, the uh, receptionist told me, she's like, go on in that room. He's in there. So I did, and I told him, I said, well, I guess the only way I can get to you is I tracked you down. They let me know you were here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's see what I'm Yep. Evidence. Oh, I think I had some video of him. Yeah, we were eating. After we got done at the uh, dentist office, um, Frida and then were teasing him about, that's the receptionist at the dentist office, about, yeah, you need to have your mom by your lunch. And um, I'm like, well, that's the only way I can see him. Yeah, I'll buy his lunch. So we all went and decided we wanted to go to Taco Bell. So that's where we wind up. It was really good. So I'm glad that they said Taco Bell. I was trying to suggest Fat Man's Taco Bell was literally right there. And uh, yeah, yeah. And it was so good. And something so different. And uh, he bought his. Becca bought hers. So I only had to pay for mine and Carol Bess. So yes, yes. And it was just a good treat. A, I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to grab us a Lunchable. But it worked out good. I asked him if he was going to head straight home or if he could drop back off. That way she wouldn't have to wait at Art. So he agreed to bring Becca home. So that got Becca home. So she didn't have to wait at Art. After Art, we swung by. Well, we got to art way early. So I just let Carol Beth kick her seat back. I gave her my phone and she watched Disney Plus on my phone. Awesome. That is one of the wonderful things about Disney Plus or streaming TV is you're able to watch it through your mobile devices. Yes, yes. Um, usually she don't want to do things like that, but we had enough time that she wanted to, so she kicked her seat back, and, uh, yeah. Anywho, my Walmart haul, and this is not for everything we need for a week. It's kind of like stocking up stuff. It is stuff that we needed for this week, but I did my supper menus basically out of what we have. Some fill-in stuff, and you'll see. I'll explain. 
Um, one night we are doing pizza. So, a rising crust cheese pizza. And I had done the Great Value Supreme, and they were out. So, they substituted the Red Baron. Red Baron is one of my favorites, but uh, we needed more sugar. I teased Fat Man because you usually get the smaller one now that Brian's not here. But this is actually cheaper doing it this way. So, and this will last us forever now that he's. I had to get my National Cup tea back to Aldi tea. Just wasn't cutting it for me. Just saying. Um, I did get some diet, like Sprite. It's the twist up. And then the diet Dr. Thunder. It's like Sprite and Dr. Pepper. Um, I am supposed to be trying to go sugar free and dairy free. And this was supposed to have been lactose-free. Yeah, zero sugar. But I'm not, see, yeah, non-dairy, lactose-free, gluten-free. Um, I'm going to try the uh, gluten-free, not gluten-free, dairy. The two gallons of milk. Um... I got, it was cheaper actually to get it this way. I went ahead and got the pineapple blend and it's got some melon, a few grapes, um, and then uh, the cantaloupe chunks. This worked out to actually, if you looked at the price per ounce, it was 14 cents an ounce. Whereas some of the actual just fruit was more expensive per ounce. So I just went ahead and got cut up. I mean, you know what? Um, I got some tomatoes. One night we were doing fish, so I wanted some coleslaw to go with it. I ordered broccoli slaw for something different. They did not have it. They substituted coleslaw. I told her it was fine. Got bananas, and sometimes they'll give you, like, if you put in one, They'll give you one bunch. Or if you put in one, they'll give you one banana. So you never know. This time I actually read it and it said per banana. So I think I typed in 12. I couldn't remember. Um, iceberg salad. I'm going to do a salad one night for some stuff. And then romaine to kind of throw into the salad. And for like sandwiches, tacos, whatever we pull out. Um, I got these mainly for like lunches. Uh, Becca likes taking them to work. Carol Beth likes pulling out one for lunches. I like one for lunch. So I got the cheese for the girls. And then I got the um, pepperoni for me and that man. Um, I got this to go in lunches. Trying to make it where um, they'll have more to go in their lunches. And me and Carol Beth need to start packing lunches more. Um, so I got the fruit cup snack things. Uh, peaches, cherry mixed fruit, and just mixed fruit. Um, honey graham crackers. They all oohed and odd over Alice Marie's graham crackers. And I'm like, leave that baby's graham crackers alone. So I got them some graham crackers. These cookies, I'm trying to think they're going to be like the Girl Scout cookies, but the package is just all jacked up. I'm, I, I don't know. It's, yeah, they are all over the place, I hope. Yeah, I think they're squished and broke the hannies in back. I don't know. Um, frozen corn nuggets. These, y'all, if you're down in the south, you know what I speak. I was trying to get hush puppies to go with our fish night, and I could not find the pre-made frozen hush puppies. All I found was hush puppy mix. I don't want to have to fry up my own hush puppies. So then I got to thinking, corn nuggets, and you Aldi does not sell them. You usually have to go like to the food outlet or cash bargains or something like that. Walmart had them, and it is so worth it. Um, also frozen, I got the Brussels sprouts instead of fresh. It was cheaper this way. And then breaded okra. 
I wanted breaded okra one night. Hey, we're going to do hamburger steak one night. Uh, and breaded okra just sounded good. Um, for breakfast, I got pop parts. So I got the frosted cookies and cream. And then the frosted strawberry. And the mini spooners raisin brand. The bagged kind. And then I ordered the Walmart brand of uh, uh, waffle, yeah, waffles. And they were out, so they gave us the Echo brand. Yeah. Can't go wrong with Lego My Echo, I'm just saying. Usually it's Lego My Walmart brand. Lego My Great Value wa a Waffle. <laughs> so, now I gotta get it put away. And then start supper, which is gonna be super simple. Like I said, we are doing the stroganoff meatballs. Yeah, yeah. With the mashed potatoes. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, but yeah, so hopefully with having that pre-done fruit. Um, Maddie gave me the idea by having the pre-done um, strawberries. She had brought me some pre-done strawberries that were already pre, you know, the tops cut off and yeah. And we have been plowing through having that fruit already done. And like I said, it was cheaper per ounce to go ahead and have it kind of cut up. So, and if it's going to be something that makes my life a little easier, then yes, at this point in time, we're going for Mama making it easy, okay? Um, yeah, so Mama's making it easy. Hey, Hines. Okay, Ooh. I survived my walk. <laughs> <laughs> I did survive. I proved that it could be done. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to climb back up here now so I can pull that curtain back too. Um, yeah, yeah. I did 45 minutes. Ah! I know, right? And then I had to sit down near about for 45 minutes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned, yeah, um, I, I am scheduled to go to Emory University in Atlanta uh, February the 14th. So me and Fat Man are going to spend our Valentine's Day, yeah, getting poked and prodded. Um, there is a movement disorder. I think I mentioned that before, that they, they have one bigger actually than Johns Hopkins. So, yes, yes. So, pray that uh, we will get some answers. A, what's going on. B, what can be done. Um, yeah, yeah. Just, I know y'all pray for us anyway, but specifically for those t two things of pray for, well, pr A, pray for travel mercies. I'm just saying, I'm trying to get some light on in it. There we go. Um, travel mercies, number one. Number two, pray that we get some answers on what's going on and what can be done, if anything. I mean, and I had even told, hold on, I'm trying to get y'all tightened up here. Tighten up! <laughs> Um, I'd even told my infusion nurse before, I mean, if, if somebody would just tell me this is the way it's going to be, you know, if, if this pain is normal, this is the way it's going to be, there's nothing we can do about it, you know, if, if they would just go ahead and just say that, you know, I'll, I'll, I, I don't want to, but I could live with that. But, and this is how she put it the other day whenever they were talking about, you know, the appointment. Um, he doesn't want to know that I'm in this much pain and there's something that could have been done. Because it's not his specialty. So, 
I commend them. I mean, I can't say enough good words about this neurologist. Love him to death. He is a wonderful, wonderful Christian godly man. Um, does so much for missions, and he has a true heart for his patients, but more than that, he has a true heart for the Lord. So, and uh, for him to step out where he didn't have to, but to step out and say, you know, look, I don't know, so I'm going to send you somebody who does know. Um, I commend him for that. So, um, and I'm going to tell whenever we get to Emory, once they come up with a game plan, if they can come up with a game plan, I want the plan carried out by my neurologist too. I just think that highly of him. Uh, once they can tell him what to do, I want him to do it. <laughs> uh, if he can do it at his, you know, location. Um, anywho, moving on to today. Today is Tuesday. Um, whew, yesterday, with all the things, <laughs> sweet hannies to heaven. Um, I don't know if I showed making the meatballs. Did I show making the meatballs? Might have left off. I left off. I didn't show where they were finished. They were delish, though, by the way. Um, and I vowed this morning of I'm going to do things. I'm going to do the things that I have to do that I need to do um, as I can. I'm not going to sit there in that recliner and just look at Facebook and YouTube and y'all watch me, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's, you can get drawn in and then next thing you know, you look up and four hours have gone by. And so, and I know maybe if I move, I'll be able to move better. So, hence, that's why I got my fat tiny on the treadmill. And I was moving slow toward the end job. I mean, slow. Uh, in that 45 minutes. I did right at one mile, um, like maybe one-tenth over one mile. Yeah, I've done a 5K in 45 minutes, well, less than 45 minutes, like 43 minutes before. Yeah, no. So, and that might be my goal. Maybe my goal needs to be at the end of the year, I've got a whole year to do this, of, and I don't even have to finish, I can finish dead last. That used to be what I would say when I did sign up for the 5K, I did. Lord, just don't let me finish last. Let me finish, but I don't want to be last. What would be wrong with being last? At least you finished. So I've changed my mindset. I've, I can finish last. I can live with that. Just Lord, let me finish. It was pride getting in my way all those years ago. Well, I just don't want to be last. I'm going to finish, but I just don't want to be last. That was pride. Okay? Now it's, I just would be so encouraged just to finish. That is now my goal. I just want to finish. And I might be doing it with a walker. I mean, you know, we'll get her road ready. I'm just saying. I've walked up and down the street before pushing my walker. Yes, ma'am, I have. Sure did. They talked about putting pneumatic tires on her to make her road ready. <laughs> uh. Right now, I'm folding the hall bathroom towels that Becca started, um, what, Sunday, when I threatened her within an inch of her life 
of doing cleaning the bathroom and doing the towels and all um, and so she did but I am the one folding them and that's okay she cleaned the bathroom she did the towels I can live with folding them um, my back and my legs are about to kill me but I'm so proud of myself for walking all right the other things on my list I've already done my Bible study um, in fact, I got a thing on my feed, my Facebook feed, of five years ago today. And it had a picture of my Bible at that time. Y'all will see, if you look on my Facebook feed, it's Stacy Roten. I think it did under that one. It might have done under Fat Man and Big Mama. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look and see. Um, if it's not under Fat Man and Big Mama, then it's under Stacy Roten, R-O-T-E-N. Um, anywho, um, what was that? Oh, five years ago, and I had my spiral bound notebook, because back then, I don't think, yeah, they had not started the journal books that you could actually buy. Um, you just did the questions, you know, you wrote them out, but, um. You would see by that picture why I needed a new Bible because I would color. Um, it, it was color coded, and still, if I make the time, and I've learned that too. Of today, we were in Second Kings chapter twelve. Who how the Lord will step on your toes! The Lord stepped on my toes today. It was, and I'm not even going to pronounce this man's name right. This king, Jay, Jehoshaphat, he, he became king when he was seven. Sweet Hanny is right there. Anywho, at seven, he needed to seek counsel, okay? So he looked to the high priest. Jay, Jerob, Jehob, Jihad, whatever his name was. He looked to the high priest. Okay. Found favor in God, loved God, followed God. Because he was following this priest's direction. The priest was a priest of God. So... But when the priest finally died, the king had no clue. Okay? And it didn't say, I tried figuring out, it because it did not say the age of the priest when the king became king at seven. It didn't say how old the priest was. You could go to Second Chronicles, um, 24, I'll have to look back at my notes and see. Anywho, you could go to Second Chronicles and you could see where um, it talked about, you know, the, the priest died and the king became where he wasn't seeking or following God's instruction anymore. Um in the the priest had died at 130 years okay but you've got to think if he had been following the priest's guidance and counsel and instruction for this amount of time surely he learned something wasn't he learning something or was he just doing as he was told without really learning when we read the Bible, and I've said this before, when we read, are we just reading to read, or are we reading to learn? God stepped on my toes. You can get in such a thing of, oh, I studied my Bible today. I need to do my Bible time. But I need to hurry because I've got these things I've got to do. And I'm saying this for me. That had been at the point I'd gotten to. I had gotten to where I wasn't, and color coding or not, 
I was studying the way I should have been. I was reading. I read my Bible time today. But was I studying my Bible time today? Did I really seek out God's Word and what He had for me? Or was I just reading it to say that I read it? Oh, I can check that off my to-do list. I got her done. I'm saying this for me, y'all. That's what this, if you need a conviction in your life on that, read 2 Kings chapter 12. Yeah, yeah. And then go to Good Morning Girls or Women, Women Living Well Dot Org. And click on this week's reading, um, the discussion questions. He had been, the king had been so of just following what the priest told him without learning from it. That when it came time, okay, there we go. When it came time to step out and do what he had been taught, he couldn't do it because he had not learned anything. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me put these towels up. I'll be right back. But yeah, so on a different note, I am making an, a list of things I need to declutter, clean out, organize, even if I don't do it but a shelf at a time. I know I showed y'all the list if I need to have my sister's advice on um, you know my office stuff, my sewing stuff, my craft area, that type thing. And as I was putting their hall towels away, I'm looking at this hall linen closet, this first one, and what a mess! Yeah, that down there is just awful. That's extra sheets, that's extra blankets. You see a boot from where Becca had um, sprained her ankle real bad. Um, breathing apparatus, that's mine, of making sure if my breathing gets off, I have to do that. Um, I might need to break that sucker back out. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, yeah. It just needs... Like I said, even if I don't do it, but a shelf at a time. But whenever I go into any room, I'm finding those areas. Um, I can find it in here. I can open up that door right there. I don't want to right now because the cat would come and harass me. Um, <laughs> he would for treat. Um, but I can do that with any and every area of my home. Um, so... Yeah, yeah. Where do you begin? Again, where do you eat your frog? Yeah. Um, on a good note, look at my roses. Aren't they pretty? I know. I should have stripped the leaves. I, I need to do that. I need to do that. That is something my future self would thank me for because it would make them last longer. And Bridget, honey, I'm loving... Bridget, wasn't it you? Wait a minute. Take me my headbands. Hey, hon. <laughs> I think it was. Yes. Am I, yeah. Am I thinking wrong? Y'all. It'll be all right. We're going to blame it on medication. But luckily the sun is out. It is a gorgeous day. It actually got hot yesterday. Um, and then our heat came on. Again. It's all funny games till you open up that gas bill. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know about you people up north. Woo! Oh, Lord have mercy. Hold on. We in the dark and we're causing problems. Okay. You know what they say about big girls in the dark. 
I don't know what they say about big girls. <laughs> Did you get a new shower liner in here? Yay! That other one was black as all get out from the boy. Um, he would have that asphalt on him. Not his fault. I mean, you know, that was just part of the job. Not his fault at all. But, um, uh, oh, we'd go through shower liners. So, I'm going to try to shift that down just a little bit. But that's going to be in the way of the light. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? And my hands have been so dry. Back I had this up. It's the spray. It's this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. The spray lotion. Don't know if y'all have ever tried this or not. I know she had a Vaseline one. Oh my goodness, and you would think that it would leave it greasy. My skin stays so dry, especially in the wintertime. I know y'all all probably deal with that. And I can do lotion. And the only bad thing about lotion, you got to keep rubbing and rubbing. And I, I ain't got that kind of time. But this, seriously, just that quick. It's not greasy. It is rubbed in. Oh, I can't bend. It is rubbed in. They keep using my monogram towels. Do you use monogram towels? Now, if you're in the South, you know how important monograms are. Honey, in the South, we monogram everything. I even had some underwear that was monogrammed, I'm just saying. You know, when you went to summer camp as a kid, and they would tell you put your name in your underwear. Mine was monogrammed. Oh, my grandmother. My grandmother monogrammed my underwear. Yes, ma'am, she did. Any hizzles. Um, I'm going to make me some onions. All right. <sighs> My back is about to kill me. I'm working on my laundry. Got my bathroom. I'm trying to keep count of water. This is bottle number three. We are 11 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, morning. It's still morning. It's not noon yet, people. Um, yeah. I would close her door because I don't want to see it. But the cat is in there. Okay, I think I'm at the point I need to sit, regroup, and then continue on. <laughs> okay, yeah, later in the day. <laughs> what well, was that on SpongeBob? 200 years later. Um, <laughs> yeah, it'll be okay. My headband might be a little bit tight. Um, I have not had a nap today. That could be a reason, too. Um, let's see. I was just telling Pat Man everything I would gotten accomplished today. Got my laundry washed and dried. I have not folded anything or put anything away. Um, I'm going to do that in a little bit. I just got to where I just could not stand up more. Um, I unloaded and loaded the dishwasher. Um... I uh, made my, me and Carol Beth grilled cheese for lunch. Um, and it was after lunch that I kind of just started waning. So it was probably the carbs, which I'm not supposed to be eating, but 
What you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> um, tonight for supper. <laughs> yeah, no carbs. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say that 33 cent a box uh, from Aldi's. Yeah. Yeah. Brian's not here to complain. So we can go back to the 33 cent box of you know, macaroni and cheese all the grand. He liked my homemade um, what we call poor man's mac and cheese. He liked the pasta and lots of cheese and you layered it like lasagna. Pasta, cheddar cheese. Pasta, cheddar cheese. Pasta, cheddar cheese. I mean, near about two pounds of cheddar cheese went into that pasta dish. <laughs> um, he didn't like the milk, you know, where you do the, the, I call it the white stuff. He was in Becca's room. He might be in Carol Beth's room now. Ooh, maybe check the house, make sure he's still in. He's been having this awful habit of trying to get out. Talking about too, bod. Anywho, um, we're having just out of the can green beans. I threw a bunch of butter on them. There you go. Here lately, it's just been simple. Simple, easy meals, easy on me. These people have been wonderful about not complaining. They have eaten chicken sandwiches and french fries. Um, the the Aldi Chick-fil-A knockoffs, if y'all have not seen that, they talk about do the brioche buns. Can't afford the brioche buns. Not at two buns for four dollars, or is it four buns for four dollars? Yeah, no. I did do the brioche rolls one day when I found them. Um, they had a dollar or two dollar off coupon on them. But you could cut the chicken patty. I got the, just the chicken patties. Um, you could cut those in half and it would do two rolls. Um, this last time I had some, ooh, that light did something funky. Um, I got the sweet Hawaiian rolls and we did the cheaper blue bag all the chicken patties everybody talks about doing the red bag chicken breast tenderloins from Aldi um, I can never find them because everybody else is buying them um, and it looks like they're like five something a bag Whereas the chicken patty ones are three something a bag. Might have never had a Chick fil A sandwich to compare it to. So them chicken sandwiches were pretty damn good, you know what I mean? Um, because usually if we do do Chick fil A, and it's rare that we do Chick fil A, love Chick fil A, nothing against Chick fil A. Love me some chick, you know what I'm saying? It's just expensive, you know what I mean? Um, we do that, the nuggets. Give me a nugget and some waffle fries. I'll be your best just friend. Um, yeah, that's what I get if we do Chick-fil-A. Care about this a nugget girl, too. I'm just saying. Um, uh, their market side salad is good, too. But if I'm going to be paying that much money, I want something more than rabbit food. You know I Um, I figure if I can do a salad, I'm going to do that mess at home. Um, which I can do popcorn chicken at home, too. Anywho, speaking of chicken, I've got some um, drumsticks that Becca had gotten from Aldi a while back. For 99 cents a pound when they had them on sale. She had called me one day. She had stopped after work one day. And she had called me wanting to know if she picked up some. Would we eat them? And I'm like, yes ma'am. So she bought um, some drumsticks. And I had one pack left in there. So I made those. 
I took them out earlier today. I'm doing my macaroni and cheese. I took them out earlier today and um, I took one of my Italian seasoning packets, the dried powder um, I got from Aldi's. And I'm um, trying to do two things at one time. Anywho, I took that Italian seasoning packet and water and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some canola oil. And I just kind of, I did not measure a thing. I just kind of made a marinade. And I had a mar marinating in that from like one to, I finally put them in the oven about four. Um, yeah, it was about four when I put them in. So, um, they're smelling really good. So, I figured that Italian, it's kind of like the Italian chicken. Or I'm most likely just pouring a bottle of Italian dressing on it. Um, if you've never done an Italian chicken, yes, please. Um, you can actually do a sheet pan meal, or you can do it in your crock pot. Either way of the other, I guess it didn't really matter. Um, but do your chicken and do your green beans and um, potatoes cut potatoes and you sprinkle your Italian dressing on them just the powder packet or I guess you could pour some Italian dressing on it I just always use the powder packet alright I need a little bit of milk for my mac and cheese I'm trying to stir this up I put a lot of butter in it though so we're going to slay but yeah that's what we're doing for supper all right, we're through with supper. Miss Becca is playing with Miss Doris. Yes. The hey, Miss Becca. Yeah, Doris done gotten where she is thick. Very, very, very thick. But we ain't judging around here, I'm just saying. <laughs> she blends in nicely with us. <laughs> so, until tomorrow, adjust your bows, adjust your smiles, Hey, fat man. Hey, kids. Hey, big girl. Adjust your suspenders. Yeah, no, no. Woo! You gonna lose your drill. I am. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers. <laughs> That's right. Oh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. I have my baby tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta go for an ultrasound, and then on our way back after my ultrasound, I'd get my baby. So, Aunt B is gonna have to help me a lot. A lot. With the baby. Yeah.